Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're talking about the FIFA 21 FIFA point carryover. The cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 21 Ultimate Team coins. Check out U7 Buy, link in the description and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. Now, if you guys watch my streams, you would have seen that we actually have 252,000 FIFA points currently loaded up on my account ready for FIFA 21. And a lot of you guys have questions asking why I've loaded up FIFA points on FIFA 20. And that's because every year we get a one-time FIFA point transfer or carryover. This has been happening since FIFA 12, FIFA 13, where essentially when you have FIFA points on your account and you load onto the new FIFA, you get uh, prompted with a little selection that says, are you sure uh, you want to load into this game and transfer your FIFA points over? Somewhere along those lines. This is the only example I could find, but it looks like this essentially. Uh, but this was the FIFA 17 one. Um, it says, uh, you have an outstanding FIFA points balance of FIFA 16. Do you want to transfer it to FIFA 17? It's not reversible. Yes, I want to. No, or I'm not sure at this point. Please prompt me again later. It's really easy. Just make sure that you're being... Um, what's the word? Just make sure you're concentrating, I guess. Make sure you focus when you're going into FIFA 21 for the first time. Now, this works on both uh, the full game and the 10 hours early access. So whether you're loaded up on the full game uh, via your console or the 24, uh, sorry, the 10 hour early access on your console does not work on the web app. You do not get prompted with it on the web app. Do not panic if you go on the web app and you don't get this prompt. It's not a thing. You don't, it doesn't work on the web app. It only works on the console. So when you load up on the console for the very first time, whether that be on EA Play or whether that be on the full game, that's when you get the prompt. That's when you can load it up. So do not panic. I know for a fact there's going to be some people that get very scared when they load up on the web app and they don't get the prompt that maybe haven't played FIFA before. I got it a lot last year where a lot of you guys were saying um, last year that you, you loaded up to the web app and you can't transfer your FIFA points. It's it's normal. Don't worry about it. Um, you have never been able to put your FIFA points on the web app. It's really strange. I actually thought that EA would have put an option on the web app to buy FIFA points. It's a very EA thing to do, but I guess not. Um, but yeah, like if you are going to spend FIFA points, uh, make sure that you, uh, you, you're transferring them over. Now, um, EA did confirm this. If I want to drag this screen down a little bit for you guys. EA did confirm this um, on their EA Direct Communication uh, account. This is the official EA Direct Communication account. I'd follow this if you don't follow it already. Um, only 259,000 followers, but they tweet out a lot of useful stuff. Um, a lot of updates, pitch notes, things like that. I'd follow it if, uh, if I were you. You're trying to keep up into the know. I have this account and the official EA account. I have their notifications on so this one that's followed by 7.7 .7 million and this one I have them both with their notifications on uh, to get notified every time they tweet it just makes life easy so you know and you keep updated with any kind of FIFA 20 and FIFA 21 information um, they tweet out not that oftenly so you what your phone won't get spammed I'd recommend if you do encounter spam maybe only have this account's um, this account's notifications on the official account can sometimes tweet out about uh, things that you maybe don't want to look at for example uh does anyone really care about the fact that anthony joshua is now in volta <laughs> no i don't care about kits either so sometimes you can see a little bit of spam from this account uh but typically um the other one is really really good now you may be asking you may be wondering what is the benefit of loading up fifa points on the previous game and transferring them over to the new game and that's very simple and very easy to talk about so Sites like, uh, for example, shop2.net uh, is the one that I personally use. Now, I'm not sponsored by any of these sites. Um, I, I don't get paid by them or anything. Uh, but this is the site that I've been using recently. Uh, sites like Shop2, they provide a service where you can essentially get a PlayStation or Xbox code for cheaper than what they actually are valued at. I think the Xbox codes might have already sold out at the below value so they would have gone up now but playstation codes i've been getting 80 pound ones for 68 pounds they are partnered with playstation so it's all legit you won't get scammed i have used a site before and i've not been scammed there is no worry there's no nothing um to worry about with this site they are 100 legit and reliable again i'm not being paid i'm not being sponsored i just like the service i think that they're really good and that's what i've personally been using but typically towards the start of a new fifa especially fifa but it happens with other games but mainly just fifa you see a lot of these sites uh, go out of stock with their codes because so many people buy fifa points at the start of the game that uh, a lot of these sites go out of stock so uh, that is one of the biggest benefits um of spending uh sorry of buying fifa points on the uh, previous game is that you can get these bought before they go out of stock what i did for my 252,000 fifa points was i just kept buying 80 pound codes uh and it works out i think i saved like four or five hundred pounds or something crazy like that it's a really really good saving um so that's what i was doing with that it's pretty easy as well 
um i recommend if you are gonna buy FIFA points for the new game do it via one of these sites man now i'm gonna have a video either later today or tomorrow talking about how to spend your 10 hours early access but i think with my FIFA points i'm probably just gonna spend most of them on packs obviously this is all just an investment if i wasn't a content creator i wouldn't buy FIFA points i'll be honest with you like that that's just complete honesty i only buy FIFA points as a investment into my content to bring you guys as many good videos as possible um with pack openings and things like that so uh, i'm gonna be spending most of these on packs uh, i would recommend doing drafts if you are trying to you know be frugal and be smart with your FIFA points um if you're either not spending a lot or you want to get the most value it would be smart to spend it on drafts 300 per time and if you can win the draft every time you will get better packs and better value packs than you would have with those 300 FIFA points um so yeah in fact i think past the second round you get better value packs anyway so if you can win the first round you should be good um but i would recommend yeah just trying to be smart with your FIFA points um if you are say spending 2,000 FIFA points, 4,000, 12,000, 24,000. Um, buying packs is all well and good, but uh, often people don't find the best value in just packs. And by the way, I saw a few of you guys, uh, you know, wishing me well with the weight loss and stuff like that. I haven't talked about this on the channel yet uh, at all, but I thought I'd throw it into a video. Uh, yes, yeah, so um, for the last 13 weeks, I've been on a weight loss uh, gym plan um, and I've lost just over... 10 and a half kilos since uh mid july so we're coming up to the three month mark soon um i think or we might already be at the three month mark so it's around 12 weeks um and i've lost yeah just just over 10 and a half kilos so we're doing well i'm excited obviously going to carry on doing it through fifa uh 21 and hopefully by fifa 22 you're going to have shredded haber making videos who knows but um but yeah i appreciate all of you guys for wishing me well and supporting me with all that good stuff i can't explain how amazing it is to see comments like that so like obviously i read all my comments um and to see people noticing it without me saying anything it genuinely warm my heart so i'm genuinely really grateful for that but that's pretty much it for this video guys it's not a, a particularly long video it's not going to be a super long video like in the past it's just going to be a quick one talking about the fifth point carryover the transfer and giving you guys some info about that uh like i said look out for the chat uh, on the channel sorry later for um you know, videos that I'm going to bring out. I'm going to bring out a video on how to spend your 10 hours in your early access. Um, and then we'll be bringing out more content, whether it's to do with the web app, to do with the full game. Uh, obviously, the full game, uh, or we get access to FIFA 21 are on next Wednesday. Really excited for that. That's when the content is going to be probably two videos per day, I'm guessing. Uh, I'll be trying my best to get the content pushed out for you guys as often as possible i'll also be streaming a lot on twitch uh link in the description as always to my streams that's where i'll be creating a lot of content for you guys as always um i pretty much will be streaming every single day uh for a long period of time so if you want to go check that out uh, if you have free time in the day please make sure to come and follow me on there um where you guys can get involved with all the content live but that's it for this video guys thank you for watching and supporting the channel um it's been an amazing fifa 20 Cannot thank you guys enough for all the support over FIFA 20, and I'm super excited going into FIFA 21. Fingers crossed we can smash it as just as much, or if not better than we did in FIFA 20. I'll, uh, I'll be seeing you guys. Um, check out the video later tonight. See you later.